Dance, the oldest form of bodily expression, mixing rhythm and music with color and culture in a universal language that transcends political differences and national boundaries. This is Folk Mood, North Carolina's international festival. Dr. Clinton Border, a Waynesville surgeon, founded Folk Mood in 1984. His goal is to bring 10 to 12 performing groups from their home countries to present programs of folk music and dance for the citizens of and visitors to Western North Carolina. Because the people of the North Carolina mountains treasured their own dance heritage, Dr. Border thought they would embrace dance from other cultures too. Folkmut is an old English word meaning meeting of the people and it seemed the perfect name for this festival. We had the opportunity to stand on Main Street and um, watch 10 to 15 different countries dancing in traditional garb and to traditional music is just nothing short of fascinating. And I'm not sure that it's an experience I could enjoy anywhere else. For two weeks every summer, traditional dance groups from around the globe converge here in Western North Carolina. Each team brings the traditional dance and music of their country. And though the dancers do perform a lot, folk mood is much more than a flurry of performances. This festival is a cultural exchange, an education, and an economic boost for Western North Carolina. And it's growing. Based on our study, folk mood has a huge economic impact on Western Carolina's economy. It contributes over $2 million dollars. In employment, it creates and maintains over 30 jobs additionally to the local economy. Tourists travel from throughout the country to engage with this unique dance festival. They stay in hotels and in bed and breakfast, go shopping, dine out, and follow the dancers from one town to another as they perform. I just think it's interesting to see other cultures, um, to see what their what their dance brings from their nations to ours that we don't see every day. Each summer, 10 to 12 dance groups from around the world travel the Western North Carolina. Waiting to greet the dancers are more than 500 volunteers and staff. Aside from taking them to everything that they have to get to, dances and whatnot, um, you really get to know people. Learning about other cultures and being a part of a bigger thing is awesome. One of the greatest experiences of my life. During the festival, the performers and most of the staff reside in the Folkmood Friendship Center in Waynesville. This converted elementary school built in 1923 now serves as a no-frills dormitory, cafeteria and practice space for the dancers. For two weeks, scheduled performances take them all over Western North Carolina. Two of the largest events, the Parade of Nations and International Festival Day, take place on Main Street in the host city of Waynesville. The performers also conduct workshops and perform for smaller audiences at schools, nursing homes and civic groups. I got involved with uh, Folk Mood uh, when my mom was at Silver Bluff uh, Nursing Home. And she looked forward so much to folk move coming every year to do the performances at uh, Silver Bluff. So you know, we kind of followed up with it and got involved, and now we love it. It's a tremendous undertaking to produce over 60 performances in 12 counties in two weeks, featuring 350 to 400 performers. But it's also a chance for the volunteers, staff, the community, tourists and performers to expand their experience with other cultures. You don't know America really until you know the people and uh, the host families make a big difference when you see them, you see them how they interact and you see the families, you see the cars, you see how they live. It's the human impact which may be the most essential part of folk mood. When folk mood brings the world to Main Street Friendships are formed and life-changing cultural exchanges occur. Audiences are entranced by dancers as diverse as the cultures they represent. This is the magic of folk mood. 
Folkmood is funded by grants from local municipalities, foundations, ticket sales, individual donors, and corporate sponsorships. 25 years after its start, Folkmood is on the lookout for new partners, those who can help Folkmood continue to produce current programs and expand to accomplish even more in the way of education and cross-cultural sharing. One thing that Folk Moot strives for and will continue to strive for is excellence. We strive for a program that is excellent both in its depth and its economic impact. To do this, we need partners. We need partners and investment to continue to present this important event. At a time when traditional cultures worldwide are endangered by technology and change, it's important that festivals like Folk Moot exist to preserve and promote the folklore heritage of the world. Thank you for your support for this one-of-a-kind international festival.